welcome to the cardiology section in this section we will be talking about the pericarditis pericardial effusion and cardiac tamponade starting from the acute type of pericarditis usually pericarditis is divided into three types acute subacute and chronic type of pericarditis and it is according to the duration of the pericarditis usually acute pericarditis is said to be occurring before the uh, three month and if in between the three to six month uh, three to six month it is called as uh, subacute type of pericarditis and more than if it takes more than uh, six month it is called as chronic type of pericarditis so starting from the acute type of pericarditis what is the cause behind the acute type of pericarditis the major cause is the major major cause is uh, due to the uh, tuberculosis it can be due to viral cause and the most common virus usually associated with pericarditis is oxaki virus okay Oxaki virus uh, is the most common type of virus. Oxaki ka bhi B, B species uh, and mumps. There can be varicella virus. Okay, and the other is the uh, post MI syndrome, post myocardial infarction syndrome in acute MI. एक्यूट एम आई में भी पेरिकार्डाइटिस होता है एंड द अदर मेजर सिम्टम्स आर द मेजोरिटी ऑफ द पेरिकार्डाइटिस इज इडियोपैथिक एंड ऑल्सो एसोसिएटेड विथ कनेक्टिव टाइप ऑफ डिजीज कनेक्टिव टिश्यू डिजीज एंड व्हाट आर दोज इट कैन बी आइदर सिस्टेमिक लूपोसिरिथ मैटस रिमेटोइड arthritis or systemic sclerosis so these are the most uh, common uh, causes for the pericarditis the, there are few less common causes like rheumatic fever uremia malignant disease hypothyroidism trauma post surgical uh, so these are the cause behind the pericarditis so the most important uh, point regarding the pericarditis is the सॉरी दिस एक्यूट का जो ऑनसेट हमने पढ़े थे तो एक ऑनसेट ऑफ द एक्यूट पेरिकार्डाइटिस इज यूजली लेस देन सिक्स वीक एंड इन बिटवीन सिक्स टू सिक्स मंथ इट इज कॉल्ड एज सब एक्यूट टाइप ऑफ पेरिकार्डाइटिस एंड मोर देन सिक्स मंथ में दैट विल बी कॉल्ड एज क्रोनिक पेरिकार्डाइटिस ओके सो दिस क्लिनिकल फीचर ऑफ पेरिकार्डाइटिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पोर्सन बिकॉज Uh, it has everything specific suppose that um, the chest pain speaking about chest pain the chest pain is usually radiating to the shoulder and neck and radiation uh, to one or more trapezius muscle can be seen there and usually relieved by relieved by uh, sitting up and leaning forward look this chest pain has this much points one should know that all points and the next symptom will be pericardial friction rub pericardial friction rub so what is uh, what sort of sound is produced it is usually superficial scratching sound based heard on the left sternum mein left sternum mein sunai deta hai and superficial scratching type of sound it is and it is better heard louder applying on the pressure on the diaphragm okay and the other symptoms uh, will be uh, they also present with pericardial effusion so if there is pericardial effusion you can easily uh, percussion on the percussion there will be dullness present pericardial effusion pericardial effusion ka matlab hua there is a fluid any sort of fluid that fluid can be exudative transudative blood or pus filled uh, fluid in the pericardium 
एंड कार्डियक टेम्पोनार्ड कार्डियक टेम्पोनार्ड में भी फ्लूड ही है बट एक्सेसिव अमाउंट ऑफ फ्लूड दैट इज कॉजिंग द प्रॉब्लम इन द कॉन्ट्रेक्शन एंड डाइजेशन ऑफ द हॉर्ट दैट विल बी कॉल्ड एज कार्डियक टेम्पोनार्ड यूजली द फ्लूड इज द रेंज ऑफ द फ्लूड टू कॉज कार्डियक टेम्पोनार्ड इज टू हंड्रेड टू टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी एम एल ओके एंड द अदर सिम्टम विल बी पल्सस पाराडॉक्सस दिस पल्सस पाराडॉक्सस इज द रिड्यूस्ड पल्स प्रेसर पल्स रेट इन ड्यूरिंग इंस्पिरेशन एंड इंक्रीज पल्स प्रेसर ड्यूरिंग एक्सपीरेशन सो देर इज वेरी लेस पल्स प्रेसर पालपेबल इन द पल्सस पाराडॉक्सस पल्सस पारा सो दीज आर द क्लिनिकल फीचर ऑफ द पेरिकार्डाइटिस सो व्हाट विल बी द इन्वेस्टिगेशन यू विल सेंड फॉर द पेरिकार्डाइटिस एज वी सो दैट देर विल लॉट्स ऑफ कॉज बिहाइंड द पेरिकार्डाइटिस वी विल सी फॉर द इन्वेस्ट इन सपोज दैट इफ द कॉज इज इन्फेक्शियस टू रूल आउट द इन्फेक्शियस कॉज वी विल सी फॉर द सी रिएक्टिव प्रोटीन इरिथ्रोसाइट सेडिमेंटेशन रेट टोटल ल्यूकोसाइट काउंट टोटल काउंट डिफरेंशियल काउंट में ल्यूकोसाइटोसिस न्यूट्रोफिल शुड बी इंक्रीज टू रूल आउट एंजाइना एंड एम आई वी विल सी फॉर द कार्डियक मार्कर्स ओके एंड द अदर विल बी ई सी जी फाइंडिंग लुक इन्वेस्टिगेशन में ई सी जी फाइंडिंग इज वेरी स्पेसिफिक रिगार्डिंग ई सी जी वन शुड नो दैट देर इज अर्ली स्टेज में क्या होता है एस टी इलिवेशन एस टी इलिवेशन विथ डिप्रेशन ऑफ द पी आर डिप्रेशन एंड सब्सिक्वेंटली एस टी अब इसके बाद में एस टी एंड पी आर सेगमेंट बिकम्स नॉर्मल बट द आफ्टर नॉर्मलाइजेशन ऑफ एस टी एंड पी आर देर विल बी टी वेव इन वर्जन टी वेव बिकम्स टी वेव इन वर्जन ओके एंड लेटर स्टेज ऑल द ई सी जी फाइंडिंग विल बी इन द इंड स्टेज ECG finding will be normal. So this was the pattern in the ECG abnormalities. And if the uh, uh, in late stage, uh, if the person is uh, recovering, then ECG becomes normal. And if the person undergoes pleural effusion, pleural effusion ka case आ गया हो तो the QRS complex will show low voltage. QRS complex will be लो वोल्टेज सो दिस इज द ई सी जी फाइंडिंग एंड ऑन द चेस्ट रेडियोग्राफी चेस्ट रेडियोग्राफी में सी एक्स आर चेस्ट रेडियोग्राफी में देर विल बी विथ और विदाउट इफ्यूजन इन द चेस्ट एक्सरे एंड इफ देर इज इफ्यूजन प्रिजेंट दैन पियर सेपेड और वाटर बोतल एपियरेंस ऑफ द हार्ट इन द हार्ट इज प्रिजेंट in case of pleural effusion the other modality of the investigation will be echo cardiogram and the um, for the uh, paracentesis can also be performed if the if it is the case of the pleural effusion so the treatment modality for the treatment modality now is speaking about the treatment modality uh, usually physical activity should be avoided and rest is usually um, uh, asked to be Done and then hospitalization to the high risk feature, high risk patient. Like if the patient is suffering from fever, leukocytosis is very high. Uh, large pericardial effusion is present. Cardiac tamponade में चला गया है patient. Acute trauma का patient है immunocompromised state है. Then we need to hospitalize the patient because there is very severe pain. So the treatment modality में you should remember that we are going to manage only pain. Pain is the main uh, treatment modality. So, 
for the pin we will start for start with nz okay for one week therapy we can also give aspirin and uh, indomethacin is also uh, ibuprofen is the uh, usually um, first choice um, first choice for the uh, patient uh, in NSAID जो ibuprofen दिया जाए profen and then aspirin and if it is uh, not uh, relieved by the uh, NSAIDs then corticosteroid can be given to the patient and um, colchicine is usually given in addition to the NSAID because it helps in uh, further attack of the pericarditis colchicine this should not be forgotten colchicine is also given to the patient uh, and uh, after the management of the pain uh, find the cause and treat the cause treat the cause is the uh, pericarditis so this is all about the pericarditis uh, and uh, speaking about the pericardial effusion the effusion can be uh, effusion is the fluid accumulation in the pericardium and the fluid can be either exudative transudative or uh, it can be blood or uh, pus feed so uh, accordingly uh, to uh, to find out the um, actual form of the fluid we need to do paracentesis paracentesis uh, karke then we will send it for the protein and uh, glucose level for the examination of the protein and glucose level and we will uh, know whether it is transudative or exudative okay and uh, usually the cause of the um, pericardial effusion ka jo cause hota hai usually same as that of the pericarditis and but the chest x-ray finding jo tha that usually so with the water bottle Okay, this is the very important MCQ point regarding uh, pleural diffusion and uh, the um, ECG uh, करने में तो low voltage का low voltage QRS complex is usually seen QRS complex is low voltage type and to rule out the um, whether it is transudative or exudative we will see for paracentesis करके uh, sorry, pericardiosynthesis, paracentesis, uh, not pericardiosynthesis is done, and uh, this is the collection of the fluid from the pericardial space, and then we will see for the protein LDH glucose. And WBC uh, other uh, feature other examination for the after pericardi pericardiosynthesis will be uh, cholesterol is usually high uh, in many um, malignant pericardial fluid so we can also see cholesterol gram staining can be sent uh, culture can be done okay these are the features myocardial myo, mycobacterium culture can be sent in lactic uh, culture media and uh, cardiac catheterization and angiography are also sometimes required and uh, thoracic and abdominal ct to rule out the presence of lymphadenopathy masses okay and the treatment modalities will be therapeutic parasynthesis Para uh, synthesis can be done. Uh, that with the expiration of the effusion in the selected case, uh, okay. And anti-inflammatory drug NSAIDs is usually given to for the pain. And uh, this is all about the uh, pericardial effusion. And uh, as we said that the cardiac tamponade. Cardiac tamponade ka matlab kya hota hai? There is accumulation of fluid in the pericardium and the amount is sufficient to cause compression of the there is compression of the heart. The fluid is compressing the heart 
and uh, in such a context that uh, the diastolic function is abnormal it is not allowing the uh, normal uh, feeling of the diastolic function of the heart is impaired due to the compression of the heart by the fluid and usually the fluid should be if the pericardiac uh, tamponade is of acute onset then even 200 ml of fluid is sufficient 250 ml sorry uh, if acute onset ka cardiac tamponade hai, 250 ml is required and if it is of chronic onset or late onset then 200 ml ka fluid is sufficient for causing cardiac tamponade the clinical feature will be same as that of the um, uh, as that of the um, pleural effusion but in severe so on dyspnea orthopnea substernal chest discomfort tachycardia pulses paradoxus same as that of so um, under investigation um, investigation also as the um, there is in both the cases there is fluid in the peri pericardial region um, the clinical feature as well as the investigation modality will be similar uh, in both the cases and but the treatment modality usually um, as a treatment uh, you have to this is very emergency case so uh, emergency paracardiosynthesis is done emergency pericardiosynthesis means removal of the fluid from the pericardial space and if the person is hypovolemic uh, hypotensive patient then volume expansion with the saline uh, uh, IV saline fluid plasma and dextran should be used as a temporary measure after pericardiosynthesis uh, means uh, fluid substitute should be given in the hypotensive patient so this is all about the cardiac tamponade and sometimes positive pressure mechanical ventilation should be avoided in the acute tamponade because uh, if uh, it further reduces the cardiac feeling and treat the underlying cause for the cardiac tamponade